friends sparkle it here so me and Nick today in the old town here you can see around we are going to show you about the uh, San Diego city where it started yes so we are entering the old town of San Diego you see signs here and I'm going to tell you today uh, how it appears here Native American culture in the San Diego area goes back over 10,000 years. When the Europeans arrived at what is now known as Old Town San Diego today, it was already home to the Kumeyaay people. The Kumeyaay had been living on the banks of the San Diego River for thousands of years. The Kumeyaay existed in a sophisticated hunter-gatherer lifestyle. Small game and acorns were the major food sources. However, their knowledge of the land yielded additional foodstuffs and medicines. The first European explorer to arrive was Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo. He claimed the area for Spain, calling it San Miguel, on September 28, 1542. He described the area as an enclosed and very good port. And of the Kumeyaay people, he reported, they were good-natured and attractive people. Hello, Lydia. Amy, did you see the early San Diego homes? Yes, I was trying it's to fake town. people out that it was like a real town. <laughs> Old Town San Diego is called the birthplace of California because in 1769, Father Junipero Serra, along with a group of Spanish soldiers, established the first permanent European settlements in California. Father Serra built the first of the 21 missions that anchored the development of California for Spain. The mission was originally built next to the Spanish fort called the Presidio, which is on a hill overlooking the San Diego River and what is Old Town San Diego today. In 1769, the first mission in San Diego was built by Father Junipero Serra. I hope I said his name properly. Franciscan Monastery. And they uh, helped to train the Indians to become good Christians. Behind me is a Catholic church in the tradition of Spanish missionaries. That means that in California, the Spanish missionaries first came here and established missions for the Indians. And they looked very much like this. And this may have in fact been one of the small missions that they made, I don't know. They may have just made it after the tradition of Spanish missions. In 1821, Mexico became independent from Spain, and in 1822, a new military command, along with the former Spanish soldiers, created a community at the base of the Presidio. Today, most of that area is Old Town State Historical Park. They made the structures of sun-dried adobe bricks, and four of those adobe brick buildings still stand today. This is authentic adobe. You can tell that people have been stepping on it, and it's being worn away by all the feet that go over it. This is uh, what Lydia told me she wants for me to put around my neck. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> but you've got to promise me you'll build a house of at least $300. 
uh, <laughs> house for three hundred dollars, which was probably a lot back then. Which was a lot back then. Sure. He called. It was called before he bought it Rancho de la Nación, and it included what's now National City and Chula Vista. Uh, he bought the upper part of it, Chula Vista. No, we call it. I forget. the minor gem place behind me. We're gonna look for Shun Guy. Oh, all right. Mexico's rule ended in 1846 with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. In 1850, California became a state and San Diego was incorporated as a city that same year. Click like and subscribe to my channel. Watch, learn new things and enjoy life. May the sparkle be with you.